I mean, again, the, there's this point. The markets be don't believe we have credibility because they believe we're insolvent. Well, we are insolvent. I know. Yeah. And the way to get solvent is to restructure renegotiate yeah. and and look after your own people as a, the interests of, of the people of this country as opposed to the interests of bankers in England uh, France and Germany yeah I mean uh, and, and Con Con Connor is suggesting that those people who are talking calling for default are saying this is easy it's not easy nobody is saying it's easy there is no easy way out of this mess um, I have to say personally you know going back over the last two years the notion of default would not have been something I would have been in favour of because of the credibility issues involved but as time goes on and as we're getting more and more of the truth uh, particularly in relation to the cost of the banking bailout and one thing that really really got to me in September was when Brian Cowan when they when they came out with the final cost of the bank bailout uh, Brian Cowan went on the RT six o'clock news and said that over the coming weeks they were going to uh, devote a lot of resources to coming up with the exact number. What the hell were they doing for the last two years? And that was the two-year window that David McWilliams is referring to, that Leo is referring to, that has been totally wasted. But Dermot's well, just referring Dermot's to well, yeah. But the, prob the problem now, as I see it, Eamon, is that if you do the maths, you know, in 18 months' time, Ireland's national debt will be around 200 billion okay if you apply a five percent interest rate to that you're talking about an annual interest rate interest rate payment not a capital repayment an annual interest rate payment of around 10 billion it is envisaged that by 2014 we will be taking in 36 billion in taxation 10 billion out of 36 billion gives us 26 billion to run the country. Currently, we're spending over 50 billion running the country. It just doesn't add up. I actually don't think it's possible. Well, let's ask the Minister. Honest. Minister, what part of that argument do you disagree with? Well, I, I think he made fair points about our, our international credit word and it's still being worth uh, protecting and our international reputation still being worth uh, uh, protecting in terms of uh, a possible uh, Did approach I say that, to default. Yeah? Well, y I, uh, no, I, didn't, I Connor. assume that you said it, but. No, I didn't, Connor. Y well, obviously you agree with default then, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah but that's, that's your that's view, but you know what I mean, that's, you've yeah, changed well, your well, view. You've changed your yeah, view, that's well, fine. Uh, can I, I can I, finish. Sorry, can I, can I, can I you read the internet, you can finish it. Well, you've made an accusation that I just want to... What I said was that over the it's last... It's not clear what, what you're saying, so if you could say it now, it'd be great. What I've said over the last couple say, of... Say very okay, simply the figures say you said. very simply. Over the last couple of years, I would have believed that default was not an option we should have pursued. But and you are a banker. But... No, I'm not a banker. Well, but the more that has... Thank you. What's first? But, first but very quick denial it's, there. It's a, I'm not. It's a life insurance company. Right, he's worked, he's company. worked for banks. He's uh, worked for banks as an economist Connor. for many, many years. And I left Connor years. in 2000. So, yeah, okay. fair juice to you. Well, great, Jamie. Do you want me to clap you on the back? There you go. Well done. What the hell is he at? I don't know. I don't know. Connor, just I shut up. Amusing. Let me get on with it, okay? Please. Yes. Uh, let, let, let James, please, please, please. Let's have one voice at a time. Let's have one voice at a time. What I said was, over the last couple of years, I didn't believe default was an option we should choose. But the more that the figures are revealed to us, I just don't believe they stack up. I just don't believe they stack up. And you gave us a figure of 200 billion in debt.